In this video, we are going to cover some additional topics in probability and counting. So, determine number of ways group activity uh, a group of objects can be arranged in order. Determine number of ways to choose several objects from a group without, without regard of to order. And use counting principle to find probabilities. Let's start it. Permutation. Permutation is an ordered arrangement of objects. The number of different permutation of a uh, distinct object is n factorial. Do we know what n factorial, what factorial means? For example, if I have factorial 4, that mean you take the number 4 and multiply by entire sequence all the way till 1. So that will be 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times uh, 2 is 24. Okay. Factorial 6. I can do 6 times 5 times 4. And if I don't want to go all the way to the end, I can put 3 factorial and stop there. Okay, so let's assume I want to divide factorial 6 by factorial 3. What I can do, 6 times 5 times 4 times factorial 3. Here at the bottom, factorial 3, I'm not opening, and I'm just canceling 3 factorials. So result will be 6 times 5 is 30, 30 times 4, 120. That's what it is. Okay? This is factorial. One thing I, you need to know, it's very important, factorial of 0 is equal 1. Just like uh, at the uh, exponent, any number a to power 0, is equal 1. Okay? And factorial for of 1 also equal 1. So please make sure you know this stuff. So I'm not going through Sudoku. It's a permutation of an object. Let me see. This is what we're going to learn. So, permutation of n objects taken r at a time. So, let's assume, uh, well, we, at the, when uh, presidential uh, elections are coming, what do we do? Uh, there is an order, correct, uh, in this election. We vote for president. And then uh, the president is uh, choosing vice president and then choosing cabinet uh, of uh, ministers uh, and so on, other people. So it's, everything is going in order. Um, another thing is uh, also, uh, let's say, um, Great, right? Uh, when you are uh, at the arranging grades, it's going to be in order, right? Uh, a is the highest grade, and then coming B, and then C, and then D. Now, permutation is, we use permutation. Let's say we want to find out. So uh, you have uh, N amount of elements. For example, total n amount of elements, it's total, and you select r amount of elements, you select it. 
And you want to know, out of this R element, how many combinations you can make. I'll bring you an example. Let's say, um, at HCC, let's say South Shore campus, there are 500 students total, okay? So they are using uh, some uh, board of um, student association and we need, they need to use 200 students, yes? So among these 200 students, they have to choose um, president of association and then they have to choose a secretary and then they have to choose director and so forth. So the, uh, the question is how many combination of 200 they can make out of 500, okay? And then out of these 200, they have to choose in order, it's gonna be uh, the, in order, uh, the associate president, uh, secretary, and then director, and then web uh, associate, and so forth. So for cases like this, when you have to select R amount of elements among N total elements, and uh, you want to know in how many combinations you can make it out of these selected elements. We use this formula. The permutation R selected elements out of N is equal N factorial over N minus R factorial. It says where R is less than N, of, of course, because R is selected from N. So R is always going to be less than N. So let's solve some examples. Find the number of ways of forming four digit codes in which no digit is repeated. Okay, no digit is repeated. So how many total digits we have? I don't wanna open everything at the same time. It's fast. Oh, doesn't matter, it's opening. So, we need four digit codes, right? One, two, three, four. So, every number total can be 10, correct? It's out of 10. How many digits we have? 10 digits, correct? Out of 10, we have to use four of them. Let's say it can be five, six, one, nine. This is my code, let's say. So I chose four out of 10. And is order important for four digit code? Of course, it is important. If uh, I chose code 5619, if by, ch by uh, chance I mess it up, I put 6519, then the lock will never open. Good luck with that, right? So when order is important out of selected numbers and selected four out of 10, then we are going to use permutation. So n factorial we have here probability let me remind you again probability 4 out of 10 is equal n factorial over n minus r factorial n is our n is 10 10 factorial and then n minus r 10 minus 4 here it is factorial we get 10 factorial over 6 factorial. I don't like the way they solve it here. This is how I would do 10 factorials over 6 factorials is equal 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 factorial. Here at the bottom I would leave also 6 factorial. Cancel 6 factorials and would have multiplication 10 times 9 times 8 times 7. And that would be 5,040 ways, okay? This many 
combinations of four digits we can make. So we have to choose only one out of 5,040. And remember, so we won't mess up this uh, four digit code. Next one. Forty three race cars started the two thousand seven Daytona five hundred. How many ways can the, the cars finish first, second, and third? Now here we would use permutation because first, second, first order is important, right? So we need to find pr probability of three out of 500, correct? Daytona 5, 500 cars. Wait a minute. Ah, 43, I'm sorry. Hold on. Forty-three. So it is going to be n but the factorial, which is going to be forty-three factorial over forty-three minus three factorial, forty-three over forty. So again, forty-three times forty-two times forty-one times forty over forty. Forty and forty is gone, and forty-three times forty-two forty-one. We get seventy-four thousand zero forty-six ways so there are so this many 74,046 combination uh, can be of uh, first second and third uh, prices well I hope those are interesting problems for you this is directly statistics applying to the real life We are not covering distinguishable permutation. Combination. Now, combination is something similar as a permutation, but we use combination when order is not important. We make select some elements out of total, but, and we are figuring out how many combination we can make out of selected uh, uh, element, but Order is not important. So n is again is a total amount of uh, elements, and r is elected selected amount of elements. Okay. Here it is. A state's Department of Transportation plans to develop a new section of interstate highway and receive 16 bit for the project. The state plans to hire four of the building, uh, the, uh, the bidding companies. So four out of 16, right? There we go. And uh, how many different combination of four companies can be selected? Well, four out of 16, and order in this case is not important because any four can out of 16 can be winning, right? Chosen. Therefore, we are going to use 16 factorial over 16 minus four factorial times four factorials. And the result is going to be 16 factorials over 12 factorials and 4 factorials. So they open 16 all the way till 12. Cancel this 12 with 12. And 4 factorials, they opened it up so they can uh, reduce with the numerator. So 4, let's say it's 1, I can reduce with 16, is 4. 3, let's say is gone with the 15, is 5. 2 is gone with the 14 will be 7. So practically we have 4 times 5 times 7 times 13. And it's going to be 1,820. Okay? Next one. 
Next one. A student advisory board consists of 17 members. A member serves as the board chair, secretary, and webmaster. Three of them. So seven, uh, three out of 17. Each member is equally likely to serve any of the positions. What is the probability of selecting at random the three members that hold each position? All right. Wondering what would you use here? Permutation or combination? Well, let's see. We are going to use permutation. Why? Let's go back because you don't choose secretary before chair, right? You don't use webmaster before chair. Therefore, order is important. So, three out of 17, and we get 17 factorial over 17 minus three factorial, and result, once you solve it, you get 4,080. So there are three positions, so 4,080 ways for three positions to be filled. And because each one of them can become, right here, if you look, what's the probability of selecting at random the three members that hold each position? So each of them can be uh, chosen. So will be one out of 4080, which will be 0 0.0002, and which is, if I move by two position, 400 will be 0 0.02%. Okay, and I think this is all. Yeah, those are more advanced. I don't think we are covering these things anymore. This is continuation. Yeah, we are good. So, okay. We are not going through all this and I'm done here. 3.4, short. All right. Um, see you in chapter four.